Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 29, lesson 28 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 28, He that is of the Father will do the will of the Father. St. John chapter 8, 38 through 59, 38. I speak that which I have seen with my Father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your Father. Jesus, being the conscious Son of God, or the Christ, did the will of the Father. The Jews were still only the children of their earthly Father, the children of the earth with its desires and weaknesses, and could only do the things of the earth. For they were still bound by the earth and that which was of the earth. Thus is carnal man ever bound. 39. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. 40. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Abraham listened to the truth when he was given it by the Father, which was within. He obeyed the divine law and reaped the consequent reward. But the Jews were the offspring only of the physical Abraham and knew not the God of Abraham. 41. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. 42. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceedeth forth and come from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. The Jews were of their father, the flesh. They knew nothing except the desires and the passions of the flesh. They had never lived in harmony with the divine law and therefore were not of the father. For only he is of the father who doeth the will of the father and knoweth the father. 43. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. The devil is evil. He is of the flesh. All evil thoughts, all evil desires, and all evil acts are from the devil. But be it remembered that evil is the devil. It is of the flesh. It is darkness, for it dwelleth in darkness. Whosoever does evil is of the devil and cannot know God. When man lives according to the divine law, he does not listen to the desires of the flesh, but uses the flesh in the gratification of the desires of the soul or of the father. The flesh has its use, for without it, the soul could not manifest, the Christ could not be known, but the flesh should be the servant of the soul and not the master. 45. And because I told you the truth, ye believe me not. 46. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? 47. He that is of God heareth God's word. He therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. No man can say that he knows God or that he is the child of God if he does not do the will of God. To do the will of God means not to cheat, nor to steal, nor to lie nor to hate, nor to be jealous, but to be of service to humanity, to give forth good counsel, to cheer the fallen, and to give love to all those that need it. By their fruits shall ye know them. 48. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan, and hath a devil? 49. Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. 50. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. 51. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. If a man keeps his sayings, that is, if he lives in harmony with the divine law, he cannot see death. 
for he finds the father before the body leaves him, and he passes on to the father, a conscious, individualized soul. 52. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. 53. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? 54. Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. 55. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I should be a liar like unto you, but I know him and keep his saying. 56. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Jesus does not refer to the body of Abraham, for that had long since passed to the elements whence it had came. He spoken of the soul of Abraham, the real Abraham. In life, Abraham had lived in harmony with the divine law and therefore he rejoiced in seeing the day of the Christ. For he had become the Christ and had found the Father which is in heaven and had prophesied of the coming of the great teacher. The Jews knew only of the physical Abraham and nothing of him that still lived. 57. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? 58. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. The Christ has been always. When God created the world, he created the souls that were to be, and the Spirit of Christ was with him. Ever since the time of eternity in the past, since God moved upon the face of the waters, there have been souls or children of God, and the spirit of the Christ hovered ever over these, as the mother bird over its young, so that it may be ready to envelop the soul which had reached consciousness. 59. Then they took up stones to cast at him, but Jesus did himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.